supporters of President Juan Orlando Hernandez have got the result they wanted, but it's one that's divided this nation. Hernandez won the presidential elections by almost two percentage points, following a partial recount. It's taken three weeks for the result to be announced, and his main rival, the former TV star Salvador Nasrallah, is refusing to accept it. And he's called for more protests across the country. The struggle continues and will continue. Any of the things that are scheduled shouldn't be suspended if they are, obviously, peaceful. Nasrallah traveled to the United States early on Monday to present to Washington what he says is evidence of alleged fraud. Hernandez of the ruling National Party had appeared to be trailing his main rival as when the results first rolled in in November. But the Supreme Election Tribunal, headed by a member of Hernandez's party, suspended ballot counting for more than 24 hours without giving a reason. When it resumed, Hernandez was in the lead. Thousands of Hondurans took to the streets to protest. The government deployed security forces to enforce a curfew, and violence broke out. But those protests are continuing. We are protesting because of the electoral fraud this government is behind. The people elected a president, and they want to impose a criminal. We are not going to tolerate that, and we are going to say, enough of corruption. This is the country's worst political crisis since 2009. That's when the military returned to power after ousting President Manuel Zelaya in a coup. People here aren't sure what will happen next, but it seems the anger among many isn't going away. Nafisa Latic, TRT World.